Well, I showed you a few days ago about the uh, baby bunnies. And uh, guess what? I come out here today and we've got some baby little bunnies here in the rabbit house here on the homestead. And I'm taking a stick. I've not had much trouble with this, but you have to kind of watch uh, that you don't get your scent on the babies. But there they are. Uh, several little newborn bunnies and uh, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five in there, I believe. And uh, there's the proud mama. And uh, I'm going to get out there and leave them alone. When they first have their babies, you want to kind of leave them alone. You don't want to disturb them or upset them. Now, they're used to me feeding them and stuff in the day in the mornings every morning it's about the same time i'm out here working around the farm and i feed all the animals and the chickens and everything just about the same time every day you notice up in that box there's a lot of fur hair uh, mama rabbit when she's fixing to have her babies she did this yesterday she started pulling a whole bunch of hair out and she'll fill that box i've got wood chips in it also but I put the next nest box there. I bought that at Tractor Supply. You can make them out of wood. I've got some here made out of wood. Uh, you don't have to buy them. I bought metal because they can't chew them up. It does have a wooden bottom, but they don't seem to bother that. But the wooden boxes, the babies and them will kind of try to eat them up. So three or four days before they have their babies, they start pulling this hair out. And they'll make a nest in there on top of your wood chips that you have in the box. And then one day you'll come out and you'll see the hair uh, kind of moving around there. That's because the babies will be down underneath there where they can stay warm. It got down to about 38 degrees last night and those little babies have survived and are just doing great. And in a few days, or well, probably about a week, I'll take and dump the wood chips out and save some of that hair that I can there. And I'll re put some fresh wood chips in and put that hair on top and put the babies back in there. And when they're about two weeks old, I'll take that box and put it over on its side. And hopefully I'll do videos where you can see all the steps that I do. But we'll put the uh, deal over on its side. And then the little babies can go out and back in. And eventually they won't need that next nest box in about three weeks. Why, you won't even need to have a nest uh, box for them. Uh, anyway, I feed when a doe has their babies. I give her all the feed she wants to eat because now she's producing milk and she needs to feed her babies good and also take care of herself. So I'll put a lot of feed in this little uh, bin here. I'll put two or three scoops a day where right now they get one scoop a day of feed. And I'll show you that here. I probably shared this on other videos. And I have a little container like that. And that's what they get uh, every day. Now the last couple of days, yesterday and today I have been giving her more and she's been cleaning it up so when they're producing for their uh, baby why they need a lot of a lot of milk uh, and the grain feed helps them it's hard to do this with one hand the old buck over here he gets his feet today and uh, they will clean that up usually when it gets hot summertime they won't now this dough here I put her with the buck before this white one, and she has not had a baby, not anything. So uh, I got a feeling that something's wrong with her, that she can't have babies. She's never had little ones. Um, might give her one more try here on the homestead and see if she can do her thing, but she's kind of disappointed. But she's really pretty uh, little goat with that um, hair that looks like a... Uh, wild rabbit that's why i kept her because she come out that way but uh, the new zealand whites is my favorite for eating and stuff and raising they seem to do very well in captivity and uh, all of my rabbits are primarily new zealand whites but i had a black and white doe here i raised some little ones out of and her babies would crop out all different colors but anyway, there's new life on the homestead. Uh, kind of chilly this morning. Like I say, it got down to 38 degrees. 
My thermometer in the rabbit house here now is showing 40. So it's starting to warm up, but that's awful cold on little bunnies that don't have much, uh, anything on their little bodies when they're born. But that mama's hair, it certainly helps. And they also get up in a little wad, so they kind of uh, help uh, heat each other too. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. God bless you.